Yesterday I had several questions uh, about estimating and we were estimating percentage. Um, for instance, we had uh, one of the problems, 19% um, of $53. Um, remember when you estimate something you do you round the numbers. If the, um, let's say we were going to round the nine. If the number you're rounding is five or above, okay, the number in goes up by one. Um, four or below the number goes down by one. Okay? And the best way I can describe how to do this if we wanted to do 19% of $53 is to, since we're estimating, take these to zeros. Since that is a 9, it's 5 or above, so I'm going to add 1. So this would change, I would change this to 20% of, and I would change this to a zero since that's uh, four or below, I would change that to 20% of, I would change that to $50. Okay, and that gives you two numbers that you can work with pretty easily. Um, remember when multiplying a, uh, a percentage, you've got to get rid of percent symbol, and just to do that, change it to a decimal is to move it um, two places, one, two, so that turns to 0 0.20 and you can get rid of the percent. So basically what we have is $50 times 0 0.20 and we just multiply that out. Whenever you're multiplying by a zero, uh, in this case, this zero can just drop down. Then you do 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 5 is 10. Count the number of spaces behind the decimal, 1, 2. Put it in your answer here, 1, 2, decimal. So the answer to the estimating of 19% of $53, my estimate is going to be ten dollars. So that's estimating percentages and um, I'll set up some more examples if uh, you need me to. Uh, send me a question at uh, Mr. Smith Sandite Mentor. Uh, friend me on Facebook there and be glad to help you any way I can. Thank you.